Greetings to you all in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For our meditation this morning, I've entitled the theme as Negativity Destroys a Community, for which I've taken the reference from 1 Samuel chapter 18, verses 6 to 9. As they were coming home, when David returned from killing the Philistine, the women came out of all the towns of Israel, singing and dancing to meet King Saul with tambourines, with songs of joy, and with musical instruments, and the women sang to one another as they made merry. Saul has killed his thousands, and David his ten thousands. Saul was very angry, for this saying displeased him. He said, They have ascribed to David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed thousands. What more can he have but the kingdom? So Saul eyed David from that day on. This morning's reflection is based on the passage that speaks of the triumph of the Israelites over the Philistines and kudos to the courage displayed by David. The celebration mood engulfs into a sense of gloom and resentment for King Saul who was not able to withstand the glorifying of David by women who praised him for having killed Goliath. So great was the victory that it begins to alter a defeat into the heart of King Saul, the upset king, decides to eliminate David. Jealousy can just do that in our hearts. It is but an evil concern which cannot tolerate somebody having something that one does not have. Saul, instead of honoring God for the victory, begins to feel insecure at the accolades given to David. I am reminded of a quote by William Penn. The jealous are troublesome to others but a torment to themselves. Negative feelings such as jealousy and envy in fact invites all sorts of evil that brings division. A Christian community may suffer when some of its members due to envy and jealousy get divided by turning one against the other. In Psalm 133 verse 1 we read, How very good and pleasant it is when kindred live together in unity. The person affected by jealousy and envy in his or her heart experiences two clear things. Firstly, a sense of bitterness builds within the person. The person will not feel to celebrate life but will rather refrain themselves from all forms of joy and singing. They might only think about what others have or they may also find it difficult to digest the happiness of the others and their success. It would eventually lead to bitterness due to which they make it a point to spread it over to the whole community. They become the roots of bitterness. Secondly, the person with envy and jealousy leads to gossiping. In the event of a person not being able to be at peace within oneself with what the person has will try all his or her level best to bring down the person in front of others to feel good. They find gossip as a means to achieve their end at any cost. If you look closely you will always find that behind every rumor is but a jealousy and envy. Gossip not only divides the community within but destroys the community at large. They fail to realize that they are becoming an instrument of the devil in the process. We can see in 1 John chapter 3 verse 15, All who hate a brother or sister are murderers. And you know that murderers do not have eternal life abiding in them. There have been several Christian communities who are doing well. But somehow in the course of journey, jealousy and envy may have crept into one of its members, resulting in sorrow, hostile hearts and even to them initiating gossips. Being under the influence of envy and jealousy, a person may collude with some folks to tarnish the image of a person and thereby attempt to finish the person in every possible manner. Especially in such a context as this, there is a need for us to pray for our Christian communities to shun jealousy, to keep envy at bay so that it does not creep into the hearts of individuals within the communities 
who try to divide the fellowship for their vested interests. As believers, we belong to the body of Christ and we ought to be connected to him and bring glory and honor to him. May this new day be an opportunity for us to share his word and become his faithful kingdom building community. Shall we look to God in prayer? Lord our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day that you've added in our lives. Help us to become the building blocks for your kingdom, O Master. Use us that together, unitedly, we build it and not break it, O Master, in every opportunity that you give to us. Even at this time, we come at this day that you have blessed us with into your care, O Master. Be with us in every step that we walk, O Master, that we will bring glory to your name in every process that you use us as your instrument. We come at this day once again into thy care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.